Hello everybody, welcome back to the trailer build. If you've been following along, you know that we had limited time to complete the build before Noah and Bree needed to move in. And at this point of making this video, we officially have three full days to finish the build. Last week we did a few of the really important systems like the diesel heater, the plumbing, the fridge was installed, and then some of the larger items that really pulled things together like the cabinet doors, and we started varnishing the countertops. Currently, Noah and I are dividing and conquering. He is inside sanding the walls to what will be his closet right back here, and I just brought in the drawers, and I will be installing those right now. Hopefully it all goes well. Will we do it? I don't know. All right, I adjusted some things, so here's take two. Technically, this is take three. Shoot. Shit. Oh, this is so frustrating. Take four. Oh, boy. Back this way? have a system. We're shimming two sides, the back and the front to make it eh, and it works. I'm gonna let go of this end though. <laughs> can you get the, can you do it? I can't pull it. Yeah, up. if you just do it quickly then your weight will... Ah! <laughs> Did I hit your elbow? Yeah! <laughs> Look at this gap over here. It'll be, it won't be quite as big because it has to go that way, but. Yeah, this gets a fat trim piece up there. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Today isn't starting out very well it. for you, the rush. I, I did like a little template and it just, yeah. It's gotta, no, you gotta. You gotta do what? You're not telling me. You gotta go at the same time. You ready? Yep. Yeah. And push. More? Yeah. So as of this moment, we have two days left on the build. Noah's gonna run and get some two inch screws so that we can screw the countertop in from the bottom and then move on to the other ones so that we don't have to wait for the clamps. Moment of truth. The sink still needs to be connected, but check it out. It is installed. And the stove has been placed in, and it just needs to be connected to propane. So really exciting thing happening tonight is the start of the electrical install. Noah made sure that there was space for all four of his lithium ion Battleborn batteries. And up here is where the 3000 watt Victron inverter will live. So the cables connect right there. And that's what right now these holes Noah drilled for those. And he's just kind of deciding what he wants to do to make sure there's enough airflow there and for the cables to run smooth. This is extra exciting because we are like a day away from having full power in here, thanks to Battleborn. All right, so it's past 9 p.m. right now. I've been working on these drawers for a really long time. Yeah, I've been running into a few different issues that I thought I knew how to troubleshoot because I have made drawers from scratch before in my own build, but I just like could not figure out, I was totally stumped. Um, I YouTubed it. <laughs> In the past, the people on YouTube that share construction skills 
literally taught me everything I know about every everything I know. I'm really tired right now. I am going to share with you guys what I've learned. Many of you probably already know this, but I didn't know this, so I'm assuming maybe some of you don't know this. The other side is flush. This is not. And I couldn't figure out why. So, what I learned from my construction friends on the YouTube, let's take right angle, and I'm gonna slip this right angle in so that it is laying on the top of my drawer slide. And from there, I can slip it to my upright and see that way down here it's off. So what that tells me without needing to take the drawers out and remeasure everything is that the drawer slide is like that rather than straight or up. Which is making the bottom of the drawer butt out. So this side of the drawers is so beautiful. The drawers fit literally perfect and they're sliding wonderfully and I just need to focus on the faces next. <laughs> so I'm quite certain that it, when I push this wall all the way against that, that this end of that box is uneven. Does that look straight? Yeah. That looks straight? Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. I mean, to me, like, and then even in the camera. It looks straight. Here, give me that 90. Give me that 90 degree. That is my new best friend. <laughs> I know. Noah, it's straight. Sort of. Is it actually? It, 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 is, it is almost touching this. We were talking about how, like the best way to secure it. <clears throat> and when I did my van build, the way that I secured my wall, because there were no other structures built in there, there were no other cabinets or anything, uh, is I just Craig jigged to the floor and I Craig jigged to the wall. And it worked beautifully. This is a giant June bug. Ah! Oh my god! It looks so different from out here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look, there's like a space here. Wow! Really cool? <laughs> it's a whole nother room. Well, if you want to jig it, that would be fine. How money do you want to jig it? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. This was supposed to be the very last day to do the build, but I think that Noah and I have kind of derived a plan to be up north where he needs to be living and working. Um, but we might have one and a half to two more days. Wow, I have never seen a more perfect measurement. So then it's gonna have to be 26 and three quarters. Well, we did not get as far as we had hoped we would, but we still have the morning, a little bit in the morning before Noah has to take off. But we're going to respect our neighbors and stop doing loud things. So we'll see you in the morning. Hello everybody. The scenery has changed a little bit. So in the last few days, Noah has packed up the trailer and brought it up north where he is working for the summer. He does seasonal work, that is how he makes a living, and that is also why living in his truck and now this tiny home is a really big part of his life. And Chris and I are up here for these next few days because while Noah did start work, he has two days off, so I'm here to help him wrap up what we can. And there's Jojo. Oh hi. <laughs> oh, you're doing some video. Let's get let's get Lene's opinion on the the rings versus forks. What? What are we doing? Um. Oh, I use forks. Do you? Oh. Interesting. I do. I use spades. Spades. Right. Terminals. Spades is the yes. That's the correct term. <laughs> so you got, you just calling in the expert here. Yeah, <laughs> I use those. So that you just take the screw out a little bit and go boop. Yep. It's like a little Northwoods cabin. Right? Yeah, it is it like is. that. <laughs> or a sauna. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it is kind of like a sauna. Or I'm inside yeah. of a sauna. <laughs> so right now Noah is working on cutting away some of this wood so that he can ground out the batteries. Just 
just jumping around. <laughs> All right, right now, I'm putting the connectors from the charge controller to the bus box. My chubby little screwdriver. They haven't like turning lights on. They haven't gotten out of bed yet, but I'm going to do this anyway. Woohoo! Oh yeah, it's really bright back here. <laughs> yeah. Those are definitely my favorite. Those are great. Here's all the wiring in there for the switches. Sleepy Noah. I'm tired. I was up late. I was in the I was in the zone though, so I, I couldn't stop. And he's gonna get out of bed right now so we can go get coffee. Okay. So this is super fun. I connected the smart shunt so I can see what everything's doing. And I just connected the fridge, the heater, and I still have to connect the um, the ground for the pump. So it's a readout right here. This is the charge controller of the solar. All right, we're in the negative now. Just a little bit. That's cool. <laughs> the pump up finished with the ground so it's, it should work um, there's no water in the tank right now but I do want to just see see it go nice All right, everybody, we are counting down the hours for me to leave. So we're doing all the little last things that we can while we're together. So similar to what Noah had to do for the um, water intake thing, he's taken away some of that insulation in there and putting some wood pieces like that so that the shore power plug actually has something to screw into. Alright, I'm gonna turn the battery crap off and just for kicks we'll stop the solar. Alright everybody, my time is up. We are stopping here on the trailer. Noah and Bree need to move in and they work a seasonal job so they are starting work this week and still the trailer isn't finished. Of course in an ideal world we would have crushed this out in six weeks and all the finish work would be done and the shower would be done and it would be decorated nicely but the reality is, is it's livable for Brie and Noah. So while they go through this um, summer season of work, Noah will continue to chip away at little projects on the trailer when he's not working. And by the fall, it will be completely done. And at that time, they will have been living in it for like three to four months. So any changes that need to have happened will have been made. And I will be able to show you guys a very polished, finished product then. I also think it's important to remember that this happens all the time with nomads. I know many people myself who have had a deadline and they needed to move into it before it was completely finished. So this is not abnormal 
and I'm super proud of all of the work he did in just the short six weeks. Because that is not a long time and this is his first full build. Um, we're gonna do a mini tour. So basically we're gonna show you where it's at right now. We'll walk through everything that is completed and everything that works and the things that he'll need to do or want to do throughout the summer season. So let's get into this little mini tour of Noah's trailer. All right. Hold on, hold on. Really. Okay. <laughs> All right, come check us out. <laughs> okay, I think we should first point out the nice drawers that Linnea made. And we were trying to t tweak the last one and it looks decent enough, so we're gonna leave it for now. I'll work on it later. Welcome to the kitchen. We are probably gonna be putting a peel and stick backsplash in this area. Got a few outlets. Um, I'll be putting a couple more outlets in. We have a little storage area, very simple storage area, <clears throat> inspired by some of the old boats that I've been on. We have our little bar sink, again with a, a boaty sort of covering. Two burner stove, emergency exit for ventilation. Got an isotherm fridge. The only thing that's in it right now is some leftover pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Cruise 130. Okay, under the sink, we have obviously the plumbing. The, uh, the pump is attached. I currently don't have any water in the tank and I'm not interested in putting it in right now until I actually get the sink um, plumbed into the, the gray water tank here. But it works. The, the diesel heater tucked away back here. Um, this is also kind of the route where some of the wiring comes in. So I'll be pulling some extra wires in here to run USB ports. So there will be a cabinet door here and I'll build in a, an attachment for the heater vent um, in that door. This is where all of the electrical components are, the battery bank, inverter, solar charger. So we have 400 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. I do have shore power coming in. That runs through the inverter here. I will be having a couple AC circuits off of that. Once I tuck these away a little bit more, they aren't organized entirely as I would like them, but I'll be building a false wall in here so that there's still some usable storage space. And of course there will be cabinet doors here. I'm new to doing electrical systems, and I've appreciated working with the Battleborn batteries, Battleborn system, this is why. The way the system communicates with my phone via Bluetooth is excellent. It has a really easy interface so I can see how much power is being used, how much is power is coming in from the solar, and if I need to change what I'm doing or how I'm using the system, I can. So it's very user friendly. The system itself is relatively easy to set up if you have some basic knowledge and with a little bit of, you know, research, I guess. I love the lithium ion batteries. I don't have to worry about damaging them from like draining them too much. They have a really long lifespan. There's a reason that I went with Battleborn batteries. So I used a rocker switch panel for the external lights and the water pump. And then these are dimmable dual switches porch mode okay so this is the the guest bed of course right now it's just the bed <laughs> this area would normally be a table with two benches and the table fits right in between the two benches so that it becomes a bed full-size bed so right now we're just using the trifold mattresses that I use in my truck build. I love these these things. They're so simple. Very comfortable. Benches in the table were built in a manner that will allow me to take the table and prop it up this way so that if I need to carry anything large in the middle we can and it would then fit underneath the bed lift bed frame. really nice big workspace too so if it's moved out onto the porch just to 
you know, do some leather working. So we got storage under here. There's a lot of storage. Oh, here we got more storage. Got my PEX tubing. There's so much. <laughs> and this is also where the I have the water tank, a 30 gallon water tank. So this is the Happy Jack bed lift system. The, the idea here is that I can have a bed frame that I can lift up. It'll probably be about here, all the way across when it's all the way up. This becomes a living area with a lot more space. It's a little more usable than if this was just the bed all the time. Or it's just more convenient than needing to take, tear down and then remake this bed every day. The bed frame that I'm going to be building is going to have basically the same lighting, these puck lights, built into it. And I already have a, the wiring ready, ready to go. This is going to be the big project for me to finish up. This will be the shower, the bathroom. It's going to house the water heater. And it's also going to be a small closet. So we have three boxes, which will be drawers. They are on some really massive... Uh-oh. Akila, come on in here. Hi! <laughs> Akila, you're ruining the door. No, you don't ruin the door. The bottom drawers are... I have some really massive slider, uh, drawer slides for them that are supposed to hold 450 pounds. They lock when fully extended and they lock <clears throat> when pushed all the way in. The first drawer is going to be a shower pan. The second drawer is going to house the composting toilet. So at that point we're uh, with those two drawers we should be at about counter space, uh, counter height. And the next area is going to be uh, basically two cabinet doors, like closet doors. Uh, I'd like to I have an isolated water heater. I will be able to pull a shower head directly from it and attach it to the upper drawer. I should be able to pull out and it's going to have a 360 degree ring essentially so that I can have a 360 degree shower curtain. So. With the shower pan pulled out and this pulled out, we'll be underneath this vent fan. So any excess moisture should be able to get pulled right out. I'll be able to clip that shower head up to that ring as well. You know, it's not, it's about the convenience of having a shower, not like when you need it. It's not about having a shower to go spend lots of time in, which is what I like to do. Well, what's your favorite part? It's the kitchen. And what was your most frustrating part? The most frustrating part of this build for me was not having the experience to know what materials I, like more, to not, I didn't know precisely what materials I needed beforehand. So it was a lot of like, as we went, I was like, oh, I need that thing. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you, Linnea? Oh my gosh. What was it like helping with the build? It was great. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot when I wanted to do it. There were a few days where I just didn't want to build. And then there were also a few days where I just didn't build. <laughs> I just filmed you. <laughs> I think I had mentioned this in a previous video, but the biggest difference between Noah and I in this build is that Noah had to do so much of the brain work. And I remember after my build, granted, my build is way more simple and it took me almost eight months to complete it because I didn't know anything. I was learning how to build and how to use tools and also what I was even doing to begin with. It, it's like the brain power that goes into the planning and trying to figure out all the materials you need and where to place everything and the structure and how it all fits together. That takes so much energy. And so when I just got to wake up and do my morning routine and then come in and be like, hey, what do you need me to do? Man, that's nice. Look forward to allowing everybody to see the, the tour once everything's completed and it's been lived in, little homie. Thanks for it. following along and watching everybody. Like Noah said, thank you for watching and kind of coming along with us on this build journey. Me and Akila and Chris and Kobuk, we are waking up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. We're leaving Wisconsin. So these were the last few hours that I had to work on the build, so I also won't see any of this again until the fall when I tour it for 
you guys. I guess now vlogs will be back to normal. The adventures of Linnea and Aquila. And yeah, we will see you next week. Come on in. Yeah, you should. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's recording my crotch. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Come on in. I can't do it. Then, all right, so you just hold that, mistake. okay? You keep holding it. <laughs> oh, oh. That was karma. I'm gonna, I'm like, started laughing. <laughs> okay, hold ready? On, hold on. Whoa. Slipped on my measuring stick. I can't. <laughs> okay. I just. It's only quarter inch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that'll be in the bloopers. <laughs> Whatever they can. I think the best thing I did today was drink those bloody marys. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun.